today in this video i will be discussing regarding the simulated anily uh, in artificial intelligence that is sa uh, now this algorithm uh, finds uh, many difficult to uh, many of the people so it's not much difficult regarding the simulated annealing it's just a very scary name given to this algorithm it's very easy uh, to solve the problems also i will also discuss the algorithm and also the graphs regarding the simulated annealing with an example so to get started let's see what is the meaning of simulated and annealing now this simulation that is simulated means Uh, in real life what we are doing that we will implement in a machine so that is uh, called as the simulation there is also one uh, branch uh, called as the computer simulation modeling in that we simulate the real world examples into machine learning so that is called as simulation or the simulated means we are going to simulate something uh, that have a base and proof of concept next is annealing annealing is basically a process of uh, giving heat to some particular substance uh, so that its temperature gradually increases and also when uh, it is compressed or when it is freeze to cool down at certain temperature we can find out the defects what that component has got so that basically is what is annealing so annealing is a process basically uh, used in the metallurgical industry uh, for refining and <coughs> manufacturing so what does that concept has to do with artificial intelligence let's see in detail uh, so basically uh, with a biological example i'll give a simple idea about what this simulated annealing so basically we have uh, in our face for example we have got some uh, acne uh, or pores uh, or blackheads something like that so we'll first uh, give heat treatment to our face so that our body temperature increases gradually and this acne as well as the black holes or the white heads gradually comes out means those are the defects or the stress uh, that we have been uh, incubated with for years so that we remove out and we cool down uh, our body and face to a certain temperature so that Uh, sustained and a uh, good uh, solution in fact a uh, good new face is opting so that's a uh, basically you can uh, relate this analogy with this uh, simulated annealing so in order to simplify it as much as i can uh, so i will relate with this examples so uh, to get started now simulated annealing uh, is a method for solving unconstrained as well as the boundary constrained memory problems means uh, if there is some uh, boundaries are there or if some uh, unconstrained means uh, no boundaries no limits no horizons are there means how in that case you will uh, make your machine uh, go and uh, tell it to find a possible solution and optimize solution so basically simulated annealing is uh, used for doing and solving such kind of problems next it finds uh, aiming a good solution to an optimization problem means if the problem or the uh, problem set is very big and you want to find a good as well as effective solution so uh, simulated annealing provides and uh, tackle solution for such problems so it aims at providing a good solution for such kind of problems next it is a maximization or minimization problem means uh, whenever any case such as uh, your solution set needs to be maximized or minimized as per the environment conditions simulated annealing can be used for tackling such kind of problems next it avoids being caught at local maxima means uh, this is the main highlight given for simulated annealing we have find many other algorithms like the hill climbing uh, the stochastic hill climbing as well as the a star search means these problems has got uh, the main uh, devil in fact we can say of local maxima so simulated annealing is the uh, most optimized way uh, to reduce this problem that is the local maxima so that's why i have uh, highlighted it 
So this is the main area where civil annealing plays a major role, means in reducing the local maxima. Next, uh, we'll see one example where the civil annealing is used. So SA is used in the traveling salesman problem that is TSP. So this TSP basically states that uh, there is a salesman uh, who has to travel a larger city and has to uh, take orders from uh, certain villages or certain houses. Now the uh, main idea is that the city is very large and so uh, this uh, salesman has to traverse through uh, shorter edges or the shorter roads and find the most optimized uh, way in gathering the orders as well as for uh, delivering the items. So this will include the cost uh, to the route, the time cost, the fuel cost if he is traveling by a uh, motorcycle or something like that. So all those uh, parameters and constraints uh, comes under uh, this uh, TSP that is traveling salesman problem. So here there is a graph uh, for demonstrating this problem. So here the x-axis represents the goodness of the solution means how the how well the solution is good for solving this problem and the y-axis denotes the solutions means a particular itinerary for the salesman uh, here itinerary stands for the uh, traveling cost as well as directions whenever you go for a certain particular uh, directions on a vacation or somewhere else you will have uh, itinerary means the basic travel routes and the paths so that's basically the itinerary uh, now this uh, mountains or the peaks uh, denote the possible solutions that is this has a very least means a least cost this has most efficient as well as the best one and this is the simplest one so I have uh, marked in uh, green as well as the uh, red color so this uh, obviously would be the best solution uh, the green one that is uh, means it will you can say that the traveling salesman uh, find the most uh, easiest way uh, to get to the best solution uh, means he has got the minimum fuel requirements or the uh, maximum route in fact or the maximum route or uh, minimum fuel requirements and cost but uh, here it is the simplest means if there was some shortcut to reach to that particular uh, destination then obviously we would be uh, accepting this one that is the red uh, mountain so let us see the algorithm to solve the basic problem regarding the simulated annealing so the algorithm goes like this step one is to generate a random solution so uh, we'll consider a, a state space considering and comprising of a uh, general solution means a randomized some solution we would be taking means a random path in digital algorithm or the shortest path algorithm how we consider uh, multiple paths that path we will consider in the step one next we will calculate that uh, path or that solution or the uh, problem set using a cost function means a cost function uh, f of x would be assigned to that uh, particular problem set for solving purpose next we will generate a random neighbor also for that solution means obviously if we have taken one particular path then there may be some other multiple paths also to get to that destination so that we consider as a neighboring solution and put into step 3 next we calculate the new solution cost uh, the new solution cost is the solution cost which we find in alternate to the previous one and step 5 is to compare that the new solution cost with the old solution cost now if we find that the new solution cost is uh, less than the old solution cost means if the older one is far better than the newer one then we will accept the older one uh, obviously or else if that's not the case or if the new solution is not much compromised than the older solution then we will accept the older one means 
you can see in either of the cases we never rejects this uh, algorithm means always it accepts means there is a stable point where we can stay not in an inconsistent state this algorithm will leave you next you have to repeat this step 3 till step 5 until a possible acceptable solution is found to your uh, algorithm now this is the algorithm in detail now we will see one acceptance uh, equation for calculating the simulated annealing so I will also explain the parameters in that so let us move on to that equation and what are the acceptance parameters for accepting Okay, uh, now we have an acceptance parameter called as A here. Now A stands for the acceptance parameter. And we have one equation which is framed in this manner. That is E raised to C old. That is uh, C stands for the cost of the old path minus C new path. And this entire thing is divided by t now this entire expression is uh, exponential function and e is the Euler's constant and its value is 2.713 so this is the equation of uh, this for calculating the simulated annealing now there are three parameters when you uh, incorporate the values in this and when you calculate the solutions or the value for this acceptance criteria you will have uh, three values if that value is 1.0 then you have to obviously jump to the next possible path means uh, this is the optimized or you have to sure short jump to the next best path and if the solution is 0, 0.00 or the value of this equation comes out to be 0, 0.00 it means that the previous solution was better than the new one and you should reject the newer one and you should accept the older one so in this case you have to consider the older one and the final value to this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 stands for 50 50 chances means there is a chance that you can stay at the older place or you can stay at the newer place it's based on what decision you are taking and here you can observe one temperature that is t is there t is the uh, stress that we are putting into this uh, or the uh, you can see the pressure or for calculating this kind of uh, problems we incorporate a third parameter that is the temperature temperature in sense an additional parameter where you can optimize your uh, solutions far better than only considering this exponential uh, subtraction so this is the simulated annealing algorithm in detail hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.